Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> that's when you go down the accounting department. That's what you feel like is yeah, happening down there. It's a great song. I mean, it's the great song. It's the national anthem, but it's just being sang the wrong way. And you're going, that's not how it should go. Yeah. Many of you feel like that. You're going, this is not how the accounting should go. No, I'm tired of it. I got to fix it. And so if that's you, you want to fix your accounting systems. Well, then today's show is for you. So core task number four, you got to have a system in place to make sure that your investors are paid on time. Z, you got to make sure your investors are paid on time. Many startups out there bringing some venture capital. They got some partners. Why do you have to pay the partners on time? Why can't you pay the partners later? Not even pay them at all. Yeah, why? <laughs> you know, <laughs> I'm gonna die. You know, I'm not gonna pay you this month because they'll have legal recourses on you, and they are usually if you if, if someone has money and they loan the money to you, mm. then they have means and they are accounting that money. That's usually the way it works. Well, that's just that's just you talking about money and people with money. Unless, of course, you find you... a good old boy that just won the lottery. He found Billy that just won the lottery ticket. He's like, I just won $100 million, and I want to give you some. Well, Z, what about, what about the entrepreneurs out there listening? Because I see it a lot. It's the entrepreneurs out there who are, we'll call it um, get-rich-quick entrepreneurs. Okay. What they want to do is they want to get you to invest in their business. Sure. And then they want to, you know, get rich immediately as soon as the business doesn't hit immediately. You know, immediately once the business has the first sign of struggle, yeah. they skip town. That's right. They're gonzo. Gonzo. So talk, just for the entrepreneurs listening right now, because there's somebody listening right now. You're, in, you're actually in the car with somebody who's done this. You're in the car with someone right now who literally has taken money from an investor or from a customer. You brought in that money into your bank account and you've chosen to use the money for something un- uh, it, it wasn't intended for that, okay? Why Why in a city like Tulsa, such a small city or, or any, any city really, why do you just have to honor your commitments and not do that kind of jackassery, Z? Why do you have to do it? Well, it takes me back to the farm. You know, this is my segment that I oh, I love Yeehaw! to do. It's a little, a little farm logic. <laughs> yeah. And, of course, I love to use my favorite farm animal, uh... the pig. <laughs> And I have a saying, when my, the book I'm writing currently, The Business Pig. The Business Pig. One of the chapters deals with, Big Pig Eats First at the Trough. The Big Pig Eats First at the Trough? What does that mean? I don't, I don't really know what that means. What, what on earth does that mean? Are you talking, talking about pigs and troughs and food? Pigs and food, and yeah. Your investor, the person that put the money up, they're the big pig. They're the big pig. And you got to make sure, like this core task number four says, that they get paid back their money. Otherwise, it does not go well. You're listening to the Thrive Time Show on Talk Radio 1170. I think a lot of people are getting this twisted, though, like it's an old Keith Sweat song, twisted. It's just not good. People are gonna, a lot of people are listening to this, and what they do is they go, I'm going to pay myself back first yeah. and then the investor second. Where, why is that wrong? What's wrong with that? Well, it depends on the deal you have technically, but first in, first out usually is the way most deals are, are you know, structured. And what that means is that the person that put the money in is expecting to get his money out on a timely on a timely deal. So that's why that's why so many businesses fail, I think, is because they're undercapitalized. People are not using the money wisely. They're, they open a business, and it, it, right from day one, has to pay a house payment, uh, two car payments, a uh, private school payment, and, you know, hey, we like to eat out – I like a, to lot. Eat out a lot. I mean, just a lot. See, I'm gonna tell you what. The reason well, why my wife's not that good at cook, so we like to, you know, steak dinner. See, I'm gonna work. say this because I always want to be honest with you. You know, we have to eat out. I mean, we eat out a lot, and we got to do that. And then, like, we got the NFL package, but you, the, the team I like, you know, they were technically they were black. Uh, what is it called, Z? Where you can't see the team blackout. Blackout. Like yes. a tragedy. So I had to get the NFL super ticket, whatever that was, and so now. Uh, I, I, you know, there's a lot of expenses. You got to understand my needs. I got yeah. some basic needs. I got needs my needs. Here. That's right. I got to, you know, it's my needs. And that's why we talk about delaying gratification. That's why we, we talk about, you know, saving for a rainy day. That's why we talk about building your war chest and making sure you have enough money before you start the business. Start small. And if you do borrow money from someone and make a deal with them, do the honorable thing and make sure you repay it on time and that you have a checklist to make sure that you're doing that. In other words, that's not something you go, oh, then I I think I did. I send Billy his check last month. I, I think, think I, I did. Sent Billy his check. I think Billy got his check. Billy? Well, if he did not, I mean, you know, Billy, he's, why are you, he's why, rich. Billy, he's why got are you, plenty, why are you chasing me down, Billy? He's, no, sorry. he's got plenty of money. I don't need to double check to see if he got his yeah. check. Yeah. Yeah. Now, so. Z, core task number five a system must be in place to verify that all incoming deposits are placed in the company bank 
accounts. Now, here's the deal. Atul Gawande, our checklist manifesto hero, he says, we know the patterns. We see the cost. It's time to try something else. Try a checklist. But I don't want to use a checklist. I'm super smart. It's so restrictive. It's all in my mind. It's so restrictive. It it takes away my creativity. I pay people more by feel, bro. Like, I look around the office, and I'm kind of, oh, yeah, duck, duck, gray duck. Pay the gray duck. Pay the gray duck. Yeah, but no, seriously. So if, you, you, if you're listening right now and you're screwing this up, if you're forgetting these, these, I mean, it, it's not like rocket science here. We're not talking about major. We're not. We're not talking about having uh, a major, uh, uh, like a, you know, like a triple bypass here. What we're talking about is just simple moves that have to be done over and over and over again. And you've got to verify the money you put in the account actually gets into the account. Z. Oh, this is the one. This okay. is the one. Here we go. This is the one, guys. You've got to tell you what. You, you're thinking, hey, I want to start a business. We're going to start a little business. And then we start the business, and we make a thing. We sell that thing. We make some money. And we're excited. Now we make more things. Well, now we've got to hire some people. Mm. Mm. Well, they'll have the same passion and trustworthiness that I have, won't Abs- they? Absolutely, because everyone trusts everyone. Yeah, don't you? Business. Aren't you supposed to? We're all about culture. Yes, our product so, is culture. Yes, and plus I, plus I, you know, I hired them from, uh, you know, from an establishment of Craigslist. Of, well, or, everybody else or, has Craigslist. Or yeah, or they, you know, they're, a, a, you know, they're, they said they were a member of some church, so therefore they must be trustworthy. And so, and I'm not knocking on any of that, but I'm just telling you what people are people, and if someone's having a tough month personally, and I've seen it time and time again, they're having a tough month. And if you think they're going to let their cell phone get turned off or if they're going to slip a little bit of extra out of that, out of that little out of your cash machine, cash register and put it in their pocket and look both ways. So one of the things that I really recommend and they're they're inexpensive now. I mean, they're like nothing. I mean, they're almost like free. It's like free cameras. You just you just get like a thousand billion cameras and then you let those things, you know, DVR tape for a long time. You know, I have like a camera six years. You, know, you have six years of tape. To I have a camera to. story I want to share. Oh, so this year, okay. I, 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 I walk in, we had, we had some headphones that were stolen, some nice headphones. Yeah. So I walk up to the young man who, by the way, I saw the video of him taking the headphones. Well, yeah. Well, so I said, I hey, you sure it was him. <laughs> I said, hey, <laughs> hey, um, I was watching the videotape last night and I couldn't get it to play. I, I, I'm, I'm going to download. It, I'm going to figure it out. But somebody has taken the headphones and I, I just do you know who it would be? And when you watch somebody's face and they know <laughs> that you might or might not have seen the footage. If it could have been like a Hollywood movie, oh yeah, just the inner dialogue back and forth because he's going. I think he. I, I bet you he hasn't seen. I bet you. I bet you. He, and he's kind of going. Well, no, now, uh, what would you have seen on the footage? What camera angle works? I can help you <laughs> find that footage. And I'm telling you, cameras set the. It, it sets everybody free. Hey, it's all oh. about transparency. Oh, it's just so. Which is why we have a camera in the sh- in the in the in the box that rocks for the show. That's right. On Facebook Live right hey, Facebook now, livers. we've got a camera right here to make sure that we you are. You can in fact watch here. us to see if we steal anything off this table. No, yeah, Z. I'm, Always like it's our stuff, isn't it? Z, I am sorry that I stole your David head from your desk and moved it to my head. Oh, that was on my desk. Yeah, I can't trust you. I noticed that you. I can't trust you at all. I noticed that you stole the horse head that's yours. That I thought was mine, and put it on your desk. Well, because it, it's mine. It's, because it's it is girl. yours. Okay. Girl. Broadcasting from the center of the universe, featuring optometrist turned entrepreneur Dr. Robert Zellner and U.S. SBA Entrepreneur of the Year Clay Clark. This is the Thrive Time Show on Talk Radio 1170. All right, Thrive Nation, welcome back. Oklahomies, welcome back. Tulsa, welcome back. This is the show where we give you all the editorial and all the facts about how to start and grow a business. My name is Clay Clark. I'm the former SBA. That's the Small Business Administration Entrepreneur of the Year. And I am here. I am joined today. I mean, I'm telling you what. It's like a, a bouquet of humanity over there. It's Dr. <laughs> Robert Zellner. Sir, how are you? Hey, Thrivers. I'm doing great. Happy Black Friday. I hope you got all the great deals that you spent the night in that tent for last night for. I, you know, you're full of turkey. Yeah. You took a pumpkin pie up there. You yeah. put your little pup, your little pup tin up. You've set up right, you right got your little, Walmart. You got, you, got your, you got your little heater. You got your little thing. Yeah. You're sitting there eating pumpkin pie. You're joking with the people that are behind you in line going, ha, 
Ha! And they're acting like they're trying to be nice to you, but as soon as those doors open, they, oh, yeah. they, they, they shoved right, you down, they, they ran sh- over you. I take your pie. I mean, it's crazy. Years ago for Elmo, people were people were beating each other up for Elmo. Oh, yeah. Back in the day, that, that, was, that was a move. That was a move. Now, Z, we're talking about these accounting systems to help you get your numbers right, help you get those at the accounting. A lot of you, see, the entrepreneurs, a lot of people want to talk about how to grow a business, how to, how to, how to sell some stuff, how to market. That's exciting topics. How do you market? How do you sell? Z, I can't tell you how many sales seminars there are. Sell, sell, sell. Well, I tell you what, yesterday's show, while we were eating, uh, you know, Shep didn't bring us any pie. He so, did not I mean, bring he, us any pie. He, he, we pie us on Thanksgiving. But, uh, you know, we were just hammered with turkey from earlier in the day. But yesterday's show, if you missed it, you might have been busy, like, you know, doing the family thing, maybe Whatever. eating Thanksgiving dinner. I mean, that, you're in that kind of thing. Yeah. But if you missed the show, it was a show on sales, how to get your sales up. And go to thrivetimeshow.com and stream that thing as many times as you want. Take notes and just own that. It was a beautiful show. But we're it's talking, it's, it's, it's equal time here in Thrive. We're talking about how to sell some stuff. Yeah, which is fun. And then how to account for yeah, stuff. Yeah, which is, you know, necessary. Now, we're making, we're making it fun. Now, I'm going to tell you what, because uh, core task number six, you want to have a system in place to verify your weekly account balance. Now, I'm going to tell you, I call this a system. Z, you remember back in the 80s? Z, back oh, in yeah. the 80s when oh, you sure. have a boom box? Oh, yeah. And a bunch of dudes, you'd be going out to dudes. play basketball. Yeah. And there'll be some uh, attractive lady. She's got the quad skates on. Oh, yeah. You know, the skates with the wheels and the four wheels. She's got the Daisy Dukes. You know? Oh, yeah. And she's out there with a the denim shirt on there. And it's like, oh, yeah. it's like tied. She would oh, tie, yeah. She would tie the shirt so it oh, showed just a to. little bit of the of the tummy action. Mid, mid-drift, The yes. mid-drift, yes. And she would be doing that. And then there'd be a guy who was, who was the coolest man you've ever met. Oh, yeah. And he would have these Air Jordans. Oh, remember that? Oh, 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 and so oh, she's out cool. there skating, and you homies about ready to play. And he he had the song playing. Do you remember the song here? And, oh, may, and maybe maybe I maybe I grew up in the wrong 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 part of the country. You're talking about this one? <laughs> oh yeah, so you got that system going. Now, Thrivers, we're going to teach you how to have a system. When you have a system, people start to gather. They start to go, "Oh my gosh, is all that bass located near that guy's face?" And he's holding that, that oh, boombox yeah. right by his ear. Oh, yeah. he can't he's, get enough. He's got so many of those triple D batteries in there. He's just. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Drivers, we're going to help you make a system that's going to take your accounting to the next level. Z, are you ready for this? I, dude, I can hardly wait. I, this is, you know, this is the stuff that's not real like exciting, but it's so necessary. And those of you out there getting ready to start a business or you've got a business and you want to grow it and take it to the next level, uh, these accounting core tasks that we're talking about are so important. So, you got to verify here. You got to you have a weekly system to verify your account balance. Your account balance. Now, I'm. I mean. Have I you can, ever had one where you didn't? Did you ever have a business where you didn't do that? No, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I can say this. Um, one of the things that um, I have a, just a huge pet peeve on is I hate it when anything is set up auto draft out of my bank account. Like it freaks me out. I'm like not going to do it. Yeah, exactly. You know what? I actually take it to the next level. In most of my businesses, we do a daily accounting. Daily. Daily. Daily is part of the is part of their checklist in the mornings that they do, and then and a lot of them will. Will um, will then you know get that to me? Yeah, and, you, and I'm just telling you, Thrivers, you have to obsess about this. And again, if you want to start or grow a business, um, the 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 great thing about it is that you're gonna ha- you, you potentially could have financial freedom and time freedom. The problem with it is that when you have freedom, it also comes great responsibility. Mm. And I'm gonna give this notable quotable. This just in from Atul Gawande, the author of the Checklist Manifesto. He's also a surgeon a leading surgeon and he is a professor at the harvard medical school he says this we are built for novelty and excitement not for careful attention to detail i'm going to repeat that again we are built for novelty and excitement not for careful attention to detail discipline is something we have to work at oh oh, oh billy that's what he's just doing a drag why yeah. is he so negative that a tool i mean <laughs> see i want to ask you this seriously um, we, we've talked about this, and I, I know I'm kind of a cyborg. I'm kind of a Captain Intensity. I, I, you've been working with me on the five Fs. We have faith, family, finance, fitness, friendships. And Z has said, why don't you sprinkle in some fun? Yeah, give me a little, little super move number six there. And I think a lot of entrepreneurs, now I'm not going to say all entrepreneurs, but I think a lot of entrepreneurs start a business because they think it's going to be fun. Yeah, fun, doing my passion. And for me, I don't know what it is. I think, it's, I, think I start a business because I think it's going to require me to be you know, maniacal, maniacal and focused and intense. I don't know what the deal is, but 
The other day I was watching uh, the Bill Belichick interview. Did you see the interview he did? Uh, They're talking to him about the uh, swag. Did you see this? No, I I didn't. I missed. Unfortunately, I missed it. You've got to troll on my Facebook and watch this. It's so good. Okay. They're at the reporter goes, uh, 